let's throw a stack and heap diagram for the program we see here on the left. So somebody called the simulate method on the world object. So here is our world object and this is the stack frame of the simulate method where we have the implicit parameter this which points to the object on which we are working. Well, very first thing we want to look at when we need to execute the method, in this case the simulate method, is we need to look at all the parameters and local variables we have in that method. In this specific case, we can find a local variable declaration for a variable called x of type int. So let's add that to our method. We need a variable of a primitive type. The name of the variable is x. The type of the variable is int and the value of the variable will be initialized. We will not execute this yet, we just search for declaration. So here is one, another one is here, long y. So add another one, name is y, type is long, another one, name is, okay, we had this one here, this is not a declaration here. There's no type given, so that's not a declaration, but here we have another declaration, int z. Okay, so we have a variable called z of type int. It's a bit messy here. And then this one is not a declaration, that's just an assignment statement. And here we have a declaration, a Boolean variable called a. So let's call it a of type Boolean. So let's clear this up. Here we are, x, y, z, and a, four local variables, and also this, which is this implicit parameter for our method. And now let's execute. So the very first statement says there is a variable x, and we are going to assign the value 1 to x. So let's do that. Value 1, assigned. Next statement says there is a variable y of type long, and nothing. So there is no assignment. We don't do anything here, we don't even set it to zero or something, it's just saying that there is this variable, this box here, and it's not, not actually assigning anything to it. Next statement says x equals 3, so we're going to put the value 3 in our variable called x. So where is variable x? This guy here, so we're going to put the value 3 here. Done. Next statement says int z equals x. So we declare a variable z of type int. We've already done this here. A variable exists, this box. And now we take the value of variable x, which is 3, and we assign it into variable z. So z becomes 3. Now the next statement is y equals 3l. So 3l is an expression, and in particular it's a literal of type long, that's the L suffix, with value 3. So that 3 is going to be stored into our variable y. So here we're going to put 3L. And that fits because the variable y actually has space for longs. Okay, we can put a long here. Next statement, and it's the last statement of our program, we're going to assign something to variable A. Variable A is the box here of type boolean. And we're going to assign the value this expression evaluates to. So this expression says y greater or equals to 3L. Okay, y greater or equals to 3. What's y? y is 3L. So is 3 greater or equals to 3? Yes. What's yes? True. Okay, and we're done and we see the state of our program at the very end. One stack frame we've had, we've never called any other methods, we just played around with those four local variables, we've never touched our object here, we just did local computations inside our stack frame.